start to rebuild our country. Rebuilding the country will start with revitalizing a struggling economy. The last two decades have been defined by austerity, Brexit and a disastrous tax-cutting gamble. Income stagnated, living standards deteriorated, business investment slowed. The economy hasn't been growing very fast in recent years, so it's got to try to get growth up. They promised to get growth up, which is a very major commitment, very difficult thing to do. From crumbling infrastructure and a chronic housing shortage to rising homelessness and a national health service in a state of crisis, the list of problems is long. Starmer's made wealth creation his number one priority, but the new government's capacity to fix these issues will be severely constrained by a debt burden bigger than the size of the economy and Starmer's promise not to raise taxes. The policies on offer from the Labour Party are not that different from those that the Conservative Party was offering or has been running. The truth is there isn't that much money, public money, to spend on new services. So it, you know, it doesn't give any party taking power a lot of freedom. On the international stage, Starmer's ruled out rejoining the EU, but said he'd work towards reducing trade barriers and ease border checks to help smaller companies. Among other challenges, tackling migration issues. Labour is set to scrap the Tory party's Rwanda policy, sending migrants arriving in boats to the East African country to process their asylum requests.